good morning. Yeah, my water mat prime, beefy to Matt. Back with a daily dose of life behind the wire in the Tower of London during lockdown. I've got an exciting job on today. You're all jealous, I'm sure. I am today guarding the West Gate, the main gate of the Tower of London. It's behind me there. Mighty metal gates stood the test of time. The other side of these gates is peppered in holes from shrapnel during the Second World War. It's an easy job today. The gate is locked. No one's coming in. I'm just here just to make sure that any parcels being delivered from Amazon get through. It's basically what I'm doing nowadays. But if I can just swivel the camera around, you'll see a pit there. Can you see the pit over this shoulder? There's some metal lions on the top of it. That tells the story of what this area used to be. The Lion Tower ran all down the side here and that pit is a, is a huge pit for the pendulum to swing up uh, a mighty drawbridge where we're standing now. The Lion Tower went all the way around here, all the visitors had to come in and pass the lions. It was demolished uh, and that's thrown up a fairly strange thing now that really does puzzle some of our guests. If I swing round again, there you'll see behind me with the beautiful 1770 a crest above the, the gateway there, that is known as the middle tower. That's a bit weird because it's the first tower. It was the middle tower because it was in the middle of the moat. The lion tower was here, the moat went in front of it and behind it, and that as well had another drawbridge. You could pull that up, make yourself nice and safe. It's been used for a lot of things over the years. It's been used as a, a guard room, of course, and it's been used as a hospital and accommodation for yeoman warders. Many decades ago, a very famous yeoman warder, I'm not going to give you his name, lived there. Um, and he was quite partial, they say, to a, a drop of whiskey in the evening. And the ceremony of the keys would gather here, the, the people coming in to watch the ceremony, they were excited. They'd waited many, many months for the ceremony, and they'd all be jabbering away while their bags were searched. And he would often come down in his underpants, bare belly overflowing, blowing his whistle, shouting them all to shut up and clear off. Nowadays, no one lives there, and we never, ever come out in our pants blowing a whistle. Well, very, very rarely. So this is what I'm doing today, but if you look round a little bit further, if you look over this shoulder here, just there, you'll see an egg-shaped building. An amazing building. We're all very lucky it's here. It is the City Hall for London. In the top of that building, there is a war room. In the war room, under a large desk. Not under a large desk, that'd be ridiculous. Behind a large desk. There is a man sitting there who runs London with an iron fist. The mayor, Sadiq Khan. He's there night and day making sure we're safe and London is running smoothly. I, for one, am absolutely delighted that he's here looking after us and keeping us all safe. Well, that's my lot for today. Join me tomorrow for some other tidbits behind the wire in the Tower of London. Speak for you, Matt. Signing off. Take care. Look after yourself and your friends. Goodbye.